Today we are having the Arts and Crafts Festival. This is our 20th year. This is the spring show. We also have a fall in October. Um, the main goal of the show is to fundraise for our nonprofit organization to make sure that we can continue promoting the history of Louisiana with this gorgeous mansion and, and grounds. The atmosphere is absolutely gorgeous. Um, we have lots of vendors, friendly people, um, and it just, it's just a special place for us because of the history behind it. And we hope that everyone likes to come out and just keep this place going. Our spring festival is always two weeks before Easter. Um, this year it's, of course, March 25th and 26th. Next year it's the 24th and 25th of 2012. And then we also have a fall show in October, typically the third weekend, but sometimes that'll change. We have lots for kids. Um, we have the laser tag. Euro bungee, face painting. Um, we also have lots of artists from around the state and the country. Um, fine artists as well as just crafters who do their own thing. Um, and lots of food, great, great food from local vendors. We're with Oak Alley Restaurant and uh, we've done the craft show since it first came about. And this is the food that we serve in our restaurant uh, throughout the year. We have a restaurant here on the grounds and we have crawfish etouffee, we have eggplant with crawfish sauce, we're doing a shrimp crab and corn soup, big big pots of jambalaya, so a lot of good southern home cooking. We always work seven days a week in the restaurant and this weekend we get to get together, employees get to get together and do something different. So it's kind of like a family event also. We feel we're like a family, so it's, it's a lot of fun to cook and serve people. We enjoy serving people. Uh, we have jellies and pepper jellies, salsa, pickles, and uh, we've been coming here for about 15 years. Well, it's all homemade. I, I make it all from fresh fruit and fresh peppers. We always get a real good crowd here, you know. It's a, it's a good festival for us. I do pen and ink drawings of Louisiana subjects. Uh, years ago, I was going to draw the whole world, but there's just not enough lifetime to do what I do and portray that. But we have such a unique state that I decided years ago I was going to focus on the images of our state. And I realized that no matter uh, how long I'll work on it, I'll never get it all done. This type of work, it, uh, for what I do, it takes an hour per square inch to draw, to do this work. Um, so I've done some that are one inch by one inch drawings and that's an hour to an hour and a half. But what's fascinating to me about it is primarily it's, you see dots and lines. Uh, I call it abstract Morse code, just dots and dashes on that. But the dots, it would be similar to what you'd see in like a newspaper clipping where there'd be a photograph and these dots compose a scene. And you think about it, you've only got a black and white image to portray grass or flowers or people. So you're using a, a very few colors to portray what is actually there. I've been doing this for since 1983, for this, for, and it still fascinates me every time to watch something come alive. How long have you been a vendor for this festival? This particular one, uh, I must say about 10 years. It's a great festival. I would encourage people to come to these festivals, the Oak Alley Plantation Festival, as well as the others we have. You, you really find that the people in this state are unique as the state itself. And you, and this particular festival, the, the craftsmanship you find is very high caliber. I have brought children's clothes in sizes three to six months, all the way to six. Um, I do sundresses, I do you better. Sunday wear clothes, and I do matching boy and girl. I do um, dresses that are able to be monogrammed, and um, I do I buy you better fabrics, Speckler Vogel, Kaufman fabrics. No, this is one of my, our better festival. Ocali is very, very good. And the people here are very friendly and accommodating. Our crafts come from mostly Louisiana. Main rocks, this is rocks from uh, overseas, and we uh, take sandblasters and make brands, sandblast them on the rocks and uh, for patios. Then we take, drill holes in them, put bowls on the bottom, and they're candles. You can put them on your patio, in your house, and we've been doing this about eight years. What do you enjoy the most about the festival? Oh, I guess the food and the people. The class of people here are great, and we're all crafters, and that makes a lot of differences. Part of, you know, what you sell and not what they buy, you know, it's nice. What is your favorite thing about the festival? 
Usually like the the uh, wooden toys and guns and stuff. I'll bring cool clothes and a lot of money. Because <laughs> you're going to buy something. It's fun. I actually enjoy seeing the people and talking with people. You get to be outside uh, on the weekends after people have worked all during the week and are cooped up and they just come and talk with you. It's just the experience of being around people and plus it's always nice to have people come up and say how great you are. Everybody needs to come out. Really, really, really good food. Uh, a lot of craft vendors, a lot of unique food that you can't get anywhere else and it's a really, really good place to, to be at. It's a lot of fun. Well, we just want everyone to come out and spend a good weekend with us. It's lots of fun for the, the family. They can sit out under the trees and enjoy the breeze and you know, just come out and help us keep this place alive. Visit our website. We have um, oakalleyplantation.com with tons of information there. And if they need to call in the office, they're welcome to. It's 800-442-5539.